Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at the fascinating, amazing monoclonal antibodies. These have such potential for changing how we um, do cancer treatment in the future and they've changed or uh, developed so many things in medicine over the past few years. If you want to schedule this video so you make sure you get it done in time for your vision, all my videos and loads of other videos, then Tuition Kit is an amazing website. They've been supporting me and on their website you can schedule everything in so you get it done in time for your exam. Here we have our lovely little mouse who's going to be vaccinated and this is what's going to start the formation of antibodies. After a while, cells from the spleen of the mouse where the antibodies are formed are collected. We can take a known cell line, a cancerous cell line, myeloma cells, and we can fuse them together. After the antibodies and the cancer cell line have been fused together, we end up with a hybrid cell. These hybrid cells can be grown in culture in a laboratory until we have lots and lots of them. After they've grown up, the cells can be taken and the cells and the antibodies can be separated. The antibodies can then be used for various different things like pregnancy tests or cancer detection. Monoclonal antibodies are really revolutionary because they can be used in cancer treatment so they can be grown in the lab they can be specific to the cancer they can be injected and they'll bind to the tumor and allow the immune system to recognize and attack the tumor now this is good because it will reduce the amount of um, radiotherapy or chemotherapy that somebody needs if their immune system can be trained to recognise and attack the cancer. Monoclonal antibodies can also be used in pregnancy tests. <laughs> 